was dinner with the Napa folks. This morning you visit all the tents. You do all those things that you know is a part of getting to race a car. Race a car is a privilege. And so you got to do some work to get to do it. But now, Daryl, what does it feel like? I mean, it's raining. It looks great. That, I, I that guy that hit me, I think his car completely <laughs> totaled at that exact moment. Does it explain? When he hit the safety net. <laughs> yeah, he, he was <laughs> complete toast. He eats those little sausages in the can. He calls them country steaks. And, and Leonard said, we'll eat those things all day long with cheese crackers. So I don't know how they do it, but they live off of that. Thing. He used to set up on the back of the hauler with a can of uh, Vianney sausage and a little plastic spoon or fork. And he'd be going, <laughs> still doing it. He'd be looking every car in the garage over while he was eating those things. Is he that anything like Vianney sausages? Vianney's but yeah. no, <laughs> To be honest, honest, I was hoping to pinball you into Alex. Well, one guy who has been definitely happy over the last couple of years and contending for a championship is Kevin Harvick, and this year he has even more reason to be happy. Don't know. to win the great american race you'll never you'll never forget how special it is when you pull into victory lane and all the pomp and circumstance that is that going backwards that. down the wall and turn one every time you drive through the tunnel here at dis you see <laughs> oh, a special gone. picture of you and mark martin Ooh. with on the photo finish well, first thing i want to do is ask trevor where the rodeo broke out <laughs> oh who's that <laughs> uh, but yeah it's uh it's cool to, uh, to drive to the oh, tunnel man. i told you while we were standing there <laughs> Don't you read that, that back. The, what, what <laughs> on the other side, Jimmy Johnson's beaten us by about six inches uh, in one of the qualifying races, but uh, to, to win this race is, uh, is something that's, that's not like... Yeah, my wheel's race, screwed up again. A lot of people say it's gone up in here. Once you get to experience it, it, it really is uh, something special. When Jimmy McMurray won, he told me the next week that it's almost... Uh, it would be cool <laughs> if you could somehow look into the future and see that you... That was one of those comedy F1 crashes. Every special moment along that weekend because you win it and then boom it's like flipping a light switch you have to go on to the very next race yeah they, and they wear you out the next week too with, with the on the pr side of it but you know um when you see some of the pictures and, and things that, that come from victory lane and you see the magnitude of oh, uh, the course. people in it and, and the photographers and um you know you, you see the reaction i've been fortunate to win a lot of races with, with carl or richard childers who's won a lot more races than i have and to see probably so poor of, that of, take the street um, down winning the daytona 500 in victory lane was just just a lot different than, than other places a lot of new things taking place with you and delana you're going to be a, a father coming up uh, sometime this year yeah i guess for you can you describe really how much your life has changed over the past 90 days or so it's changed dramatically. Obviously, that was uh, having having a baby boy was uh, the first thing that kind of steam steamballed everything into effect here of um, shutting down the race teams. Which, as as uh, sitting on the couch the last two days, it's been a like races it's where it's difficult. It's a lot cheaper, cheaper, it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot cheaper sitting on the couch. Take it easy, the mate. Two days here at Daytona, but yeah, there's uh, so much temptation to just give it the and, beans. Uh, we're able to <laughs> focus on the Cup car. We changed the crew chiefs and and just uh, really had had to evaluate everything to to try to. Hopefully, you know, take those last two steps in, in, in winning this uh, cup championship. So that's the main focus. And obviously, uh, having a child is, is something that we felt like uh, we couldn't own the teams and be good parents. So we had to make a decision. And you're a big person on Twitter and you have a, a great following. But you were at a store recently and you, Twittered a, you tweeted a pic yeah. of uh, a box of diapers. Yeah. And you were shocked at the price. At the price of everything, and, and you know the bad part about it is, is that most of that stuff <laughs> looks like it'll last for a few months, and then you gotta right. go to a different size. So you 